Hey everyone, so excited to be here for our Friday night prayer night. Just excited to see uh, all of you and be able to pray together this evening. So we're gonna wait just a couple minutes and have our friends joining us. It's just awesome to see uh, all of you just come on together into our community and be able to just seek our Heavenly Father together. Hi Mary and Leslie and Jeff. Hey, thanks for tuning in, baby. Oh, it's just, Miss Abby, it is great to see you. Emma, it is so good to see your name. And Christy, oh, I miss you guys. I really miss you. I'm so thankful for Facebook and Instagram. I feel like I can miss Mary Mae. It is good to see you and Vicki. Hey, Mom. It is so good to just see all these Names flooding across. Hi, Christina. It is so good to be here and just feel like we are gathering. Hey, Mary. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, it is just, it is the, this is the moment that we can be the body, right? Where we can gather together and we can lift up God's name and we can seek his face. Hey, Jimmy. I don't know about you guys, but I really am thankful for social media and getting to see your pictures and the different things that you and your family are doing in this time. It is just encouraging to me and just a reminder that we are still connected and that we are still one beautiful body of Christ. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Becky. And we're gonna have a chance tonight to unite and pray to our Heavenly Father. You know, I'm Julie Eastman. I'm the executive minister at Northside for those of you that don't know me, but I have many different names. Hi, Lois. I have mom. I have uh, the, a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm an aunt. Like many of you, I know that you have lots of different titles and they're all so meaningful to me. In fact, I was just thinking the other day about Ava and when she said mommy for the first time. And there were so many reasons that that mattered to me. I mean, one of which was that she had been struggling with cleft lip and palate. And so speech wasn't always her favorite thing to be able to do. And so when she was able to say mommy, it was just a milestone for her that we could celebrate. Ah, oh, Ava, like it was a huge win. But then for me, being able to hear her say mommy, it was a moment where I felt seen. I felt like, hey, I, I am your mom and you see me as your mom. And I felt valued. And that's when people say our names. Hi, Amy. When we say Misty, when we say Lois, when we say Abby, when we say our names, we feel seen and valued. And that's what we want tonight. We wanna say your name, we wanna be seen and valued together as a community, and we wanna be seen and valued by our Heavenly Father who loves each of us so, so very much. You know, in this COVID time, it has been feeling a little isolating and feeling a little alone. And I don't think that that really has to do with where we necessarily are. So whether we're staying at home and we're on lockdown or we're an essential worker and we're going to work, I have a tendency to think that all of us at one point or another during this time have felt alone or maybe even a little unseen. You know, in those moments where it's like, I'm feeling this, is there anyone else in this world that is feeling this too? Am I the only person that is thinking this? Have you all felt alone at all in this season? Is there a moment where you were just questioning, are, am I the only one? Am I the only one that feels that I'm not valued or I'm not, I'm not seen or cherished or even, does anybody even remember me anymore? Does, does anybody even know me? Hit the like button, hit any of those buttons uh, down there and just shout together, we're not alone. We're not alone in this. And I think the beautiful part of those moments when we can feel unseen or we can feel alone is when we is when our Heavenly Father steps in and gives us glimpses that He sees us. And through by with me, I uh, am given those glimpses with my kids when they run up and they hug me. I love hugs, and so hugs make me feel seen and valued. Or when Jeff says thank you or a friend sends a text at just, you know, at just that right time and they didn't even know that you needed it and you get that text, oh, that just, that, that's, that's a heart button, right? That's, 
That's when you know you feel loved. Or the random moments when you're on Facebook or Instagram and all of a sudden a scripture pops up that somebody had shared and you're like, God, you see me. That was the word I needed in that moment. And God sees us, guys. He sees me and he sees each of you. There is no doubt. There is no doubt that he sees your work. He sees your hopes and your dreams. He sees your despair and your frustrations. He sees your anger and your doubt. He sees your successes and he sees your failures. And friends, he sees your past, he sees your present, and he sees your future. And there is comfort in knowing that our God sees us, that he knows us and that he knows all. And not only does he see us, he loves us. He loves you, Kathy Thomason. He loves you, Nelson. He loves you, Phyllis. He loves each of us and he calls us by name. He knows every hair on our head. We are not alone. We have him to walk with. And so tonight we're gonna be walking toward him. We're gonna be leaning in and we're gonna be praying and just for these next couple minutes. And we're gonna be seeking his face because you know what? In Psalm 116, one and two, we can read, I love the Lord because he hears my voice, amen? And my prayer for mercy, because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. Can you just imagine that right now, God bending down to listen to us? He hears us and he sees that we are gathering on Facebook Live to pray to him right now. In Jeremiah 29, 12, we see that it says, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. So let's pray, let's pray to our Heavenly Father that is gonna listen to us, that is leaning in, that is bending down to hear our voices right now. And we're gonna call him by name because he calls each of us by name. He calls you Gina and he calls you Bonnie. He calls you Christina by name. We are gonna call him by name. And the first name that we're gonna call him is we're gonna call him Jehovah Shalom. And that means he is the God of peace. Who needs peace right now? I know I do. I would be hitting that like button, but on Facebook Live, I don't have the option to hit all of these fun buttons. But I would be hitting that button right now because I see, I, I, hear, I hear God and I know he sees me and I know he pours out his peace on me and he pours out his peace on each of you. In what area do you need God to pour out his peace on? Write that in the comments. Write that right now so we can be praying over that. Is it your marriage? Is it your job? Are you returning back to work next week? Maybe it's on the other end. Maybe you're ready to go back and you're having angst because you are stuck inside and you're ready to get things back to normal. Regardless of the place that you need peace, he will meet you there. And so right now, let's pray to Jehovah Shalom together. Please join me. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I am gathered here on Facebook Live with my brothers and my sisters in Christ, with people, Lord, that are seeking your face because they know, Lord, that you are the God of peace, that you see us and that you hear us and that you love us, Lord, and that what we ask, you are listening, you are bending down to hear us and respond. And so we are boldly praying right now for your peace that with each of these people that are listening to these words, Lord, that they will shout out to you the areas that they need peace and that you will meet them there, Lord. We boldly pray that this peace we do not understand, it surpasses our understanding, but we know that it is you. It is who you are and you are true to yourself. And so we ask, Lord, please make yourself present to us. Pour out peace when we have anxiety, when we have angst and we're ready to move wherever we are in our marriages, in our workplaces, at home as we parent. Lord, meet us in that place and give us your peace. Calm our spirits, Lord, so that we can see you and we can connect with you, our creator. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Oh. Let's move on to the another name of God. We're gonna look at Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. He provides for all of our needs, whatever they are, whether they're tangible, 
whether there are things that are deep within our heart that no one else sees, he meets those needs because that is who he is and he is true to who he is. He is the God that provides. And we even see Jesus telling us in Matthew, that is the first book in the New Testament, he says, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more important than food and your body more important than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you more valuable to him than the birds? Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? They cannot. Our God will meet us there. Cast these anxieties onto him. Yes, Doug, that is where they can go because he is the God that provides. He is our Jehovah Jireh. And so right now, lay your worries out at his feet. What do you need him to provide for? We are all in different places, but we all serve and see the same God. And so let's take those worries to him right now together. Pray with me to Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. Lord, you see us, you see our weaknesses, you see where we stumble, where we struggle. You see our needs, Lord, the needs we don't even see or even can even name or comprehend. You are already there. And so, Lord, we pray boldly, Lord, that you will meet our needs right now, each of our needs personally, that this time, in this season, Lord, we trust you, that our trust multiplies and we are able to affix our eyes on Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides and that we can trust that. Lord, we love you and we wanna be a church, of, we wanna be a group of people, we wanna be Christ followers, disciples that shout, our God provides, he will be present, he will show up, he does love you. And we love you, God, we love you so much. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And God is also a God who comforts. Who needs comfort right now? Hit a like, a love, a whatever button. Hit that button. Who needs comfort? Because we are told, Jesus tells us, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. That is who he is. And Paul goes on to tell us that we have a God of comfort. And we read out of 2 Corinthians, all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort others. Catch that. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. Let's sit and see how God comforts us. Let's feel it. Let's have our eyes open to his comfort because it is not only for our own needs that he comforts us. It is so that we can take that comfort, that love that he has poured out on us and we can share it with another, that we can stand in the gap and we can be the hands and feet of Jesus and comfort those that are around them. Because there are so many people hurting right now. They're hurting for so many different reasons. And we have the comforter in our heart. We have the God of comfort in our lives that we can share with others. And so let's seek him together as we pray to a God that is our comforter. Oh Lord, we know that you love us and that you see us and you are not surprised by our need for comfort. You're not surprised by our anger or our hurt or our frustration or our sadness. You're not surprised by our grief, Lord, because you know that you can comfort us in that, that we can see you in these times, in these trials, in these heartaches. And Lord, we boldly pray, Lord, comfort us, comfort our struggles, comfort our hearts in this time, Lord, and allow us to see how we can take that comfort and that love and we can pass it on. Open doors for us to be comforters to others, Lord. Allow us to shine your light, to be a city on a hill where people see you because, Lord, we have seen you and we are able to share that with others. It is in your son's holy name we pray, amen. Oh. This is a hard time, 
This is a really hard time. And you know, God is also called in Genesis, El Roy, which is the God who sees me. And that is what we have been talking about tonight, is the God who sees you. He sees us, he sees all of us. And we don't have to hide from him. We don't have to be ashamed of the emotions that we're having in this season of our humanness because he created us. And so I encourage you after we get off of this Facebook Live moment that you will spend time with our Heavenly Father that sees you. And you will lay out what you are feeling and you will seek him in all things and allow him to pour his peace over you. Allow him to be the provider that he is and the comforter that he is in your life. He will meet you there. I, will, I promise you he will meet you there. You will find peace and you will find those things that you long for. And in turn, we can go and we can share those things with others because this is a, a community sport. This is all of us. It takes our whole community to be able to step in and be those hands and feet of Jesus in a time that is so difficult. And he does see you. He does. If you have any specific prayer requests, we wanna be praying for you and with you this week. You can let us know that in the comments right now. If you wanna also just fill out the form because you feel more comfortable doing that, you can click on that in the comments and we will get that, I will get that, and I will be praying for you specifically. Hi Matt, it is so good to see you. Uh, we want to pray for you. We want to go to God on your behalf. And so please fill that out, share with us so we know how we can be praying for you. But I have loved seeking God together with each of you tonight. I have loved seeing your name show up on this Facebook Live feed and I will be praying for you. And I hope, I hope that you have a beautiful night and that we will get to see you again tomorrow or Sunday as we gather at our online family gathering. And until we can meet again face to face, we will get to gather online together. So have a great evening and love all of you.